welcome back to Pattern Pals and uh, we've got our new dresses on! Um, so if you haven't seen our last video yet you can do that now before you watch this one because that's the one where we show you our fabrics and the review of this pattern that we've made. Um, so yeah it's the um we always have to have this here because we forget b6453 uh -huh. yeah butterick butterick and it's a pattern by gertie and yeah it's a lovely pattern we've made different versions and yeah we are going to tell you all about it in this video um so who wants to start you yeah. start because yeah. you've got the cat. I've so got the cat. She's I'm like, like you could probably tell I'm raping her with the uh, with some cat treats so that Oh look at her little paw. She uh, comes and hangs out for more than five seconds. But I'm, <laughs> right, I'm this is the last one, so she'll be like she'll be like, now. Gone soon. Yeah. Aww. Wait, I'm gonna borrow the can I borrow the pattern because I can't remember what oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't oh, remember yeah. what with this is A or B. Uh so I made um version A. Yeah. See, snacks are run out, cat's gone. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Good. So I made good this see, one. Good seeing you, baby. Um, and I made quite a lot of alterations to the bodice to get it to fit me. Um, so I started with the bodice and I went by my high bust measurement, which I think was a size 8 on the pattern. And also, because um, Gertie actually says in her blog as well, but I think we all went by the finished measurements on the actual printed pattern than the... Um, yeah, your yeah, yeah. Um, measurements that are given on the pattern envelope because yeah. there, there's quite a lot of ease in the patterns. It just depends on like the fit that you want, but I think yeah. this looks better close-fitted. It's it's actually, I've seen, because there's a Facebook group that yeah. we can all recommend as well, and it's Gertie herself who said in that group yeah. that the, the size chart that is provided by Butterick on the envelope, that that is really roomy and yeah. they... Um, give you like two and a half inch wearing ease, which is like a lot. Which is a lot, especially so for something start like this. With dress, yeah. yeah, exactly. You would, I don't think you'd need it. So yeah, yeah. so I went so by high bust garment. and then the waist, and I think my waist was, I think in between the twelve and the fourteen. So I went for the fourteen just because you know you can take it in, and I kind of graded between them and did an FBA, and then I twirled it, and the FBA, like it was kind of okay, but it wasn't sitting quite right. So um, I kind of made a couple of changes, twirled it again, wasn't happy with it. And then I remembered I made the Silver Elsie dress like ages ago, but I did an FBA on that and it fitted really nicely. Mm. So I went back, took out my old pattern pieces that I adjusted, went back to the Gertie pattern and kind of blended the two together um, just to get the fit right on the bust. So I didn't change anything else, I just kind of adapted the princess seam slightly on the thing that had already fitted and worked well so that's what I did and I'm pretty pleased with the fit now it's it's, mm. it's nice um, and mm. other than that I didn't I didn't make any changes apart from the fact that I um, did ties for the straps um, I can't tell you how long they are because I didn't measure it um, but I, I guesstimated I use if you've got the Ogden cami pattern <laughs> yeah. I use the strap for that and I cut it out like cut out four on the fold so I had double the strap length so okay. that's what I did and then I folded it in half and you know and stitched it so I did that and I used we used your ribbon trick to yeah. oh did you yeah. did it worked yeah. it's really good oh, yeah yes. I'm glad I did because this like this really didn't want to turn through because even yeah. with the ribbon because oh of, yeah no doing like, this by hand like good luck with that yeah I think I would have cried quietly in the corner yeah. for a while which episode was that that we were talking uh, about pippy that. Pippi Pinafore. The Pippi yeah. Pinafore. Yeah. The finished Pippi Pinafore, then yeah. you'll know, you'll know what, what we're, we're talking about. What we're talking about. Yeah. yeah, so I did that on the straps, and that was exciting. Good. I did lots of exciting things on this dress. Uh, <laughs> Don't forget your hem. Oh, well, I haven't finished it yet. So no, I have, but it looks um, amazing already. So I'll try that without flashing you. Yeah, I'll show you on, sort of on this side yeah. here that I can... So it doesn't actually... I think because it's the wax cotton, it doesn't really fray. So you could yeah. probably get away with just cutting it, but I think over time it probably would. So um, I decided ages ago that the easiest way to do it would be to do a facing. Somebody had mentioned it in the comments of the last video and I was like, aha, I'd already decided to do that. Yeah. Great minds. Definitely Great minds. Um, because I think you wouldn't, I don't think there really is any other way you could do it because otherwise you'd be going along mm. doing a teeny mini hem on the scallops. And yeah, no, that's not yeah, that because be you'll have, just when you go up, there's yeah, not an option. Yeah, no, it's not. Um, so yes, I've got to do that, but that's fine. Um, I don't think it will actually take very long. It was more of a case of, 
I think I'm going to stop now because I'm going to sew something through my finger or whatever because mm. I'm quite tired. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's preferable to a finished scalloped hen. Um, yeah. the, probably what would take up a lot of time would be, be to snip. Cu- yeah, that's what I was thinking, snipping it and pressing it all. Yeah. 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 So, um, but I'll, you know, there'll be pictures on my Instagram when it's when it's completely finished anyway. Yeah. So that's grand. Uh, and then I did a lap zipper, and then I also lined the bodice. So that's also different than the pattern because the pattern's just a facing. But this is quite scratchy, and I think it wouldn't be nice if it wasn't lined. Um, and then in I don't know if she's done a blog post about it, but in the ultimate dress book. Massive Gertie fan girl. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Massive Sajo right here. Um, but um, no, in one of the books, um, she talks through how to do the lining with the lap zipper. And I'm not going. Mm. And um, they might. She might have done a blog post about it, but it's a really clever way of doing it. And it means that you kind of before you put the zip in, you attach the lining and you press the edges over, so that when you put the zip in, the lining's already set. You, you haven't attached it on the centre back. It's still loose. It's only attached around the neckline. Oh, um, so you can you can kind of pull the lining out and then just sew the zipper in. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. And it just means that it just sits really neatly on the inside. You still can you can either do it on machine, I guess, or you, I'm gonna slip. You can slip stitch it, which is what I did. Um, but yeah, and that was that was cool. Um, did I do anything else to make my life difficult? Um, but you added pockets. Oh, I added pockets, but that's in the not that, that makes pockets your life difficult. It makes your life better. Yeah. But I was just yeah that. Um, yeah. I added the pockets, um, and then I think that was that was it. I mean, I, I pattern matched it where I could. Um, but obviously like curves and I don't pattern match often so I'm still kind of perfecting doing it like yeah but um, I was quite pleased because I did pattern match on the scallops so that on all the seams you've got an even scallop rather than having like a weird edge anywhere so I think if you were wanted to do even you'd have to do that I think on a scalloped hem yeah yeah even if you drew drew it in and wanted to do it like you'd have to do that otherwise you just have a really weird edge yeah it's um, not even... No, that's not going to look good. Yeah. Was. So, yeah. I'm quite happy with it. I'm going to... And she now looks like a princess. Yeah. She does. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's what I aim for on a daily basis. Yeah. Yeah, why not? <laughs> We're going to the pub after yeah. this. <laughs> yeah, rock up. <laughs> have a pint. Yeah. <laughs> in my, in my like, ball game. Here you go, my princess. Yeah, can I have a pint of Guinness? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck it down. Yeah. Um, so yeah. really, really pleased with it. It's a nice pattern. So um, the instructions are minimal in the um, Butterick, you know, pattern thingy. Mm-hmm. But you know, you've got everything that you need, and there is the Facebook group, which I think is worth joining. And it's also there's uh, on this, the Gertie. She's done um, blog posts she's, on Yeah, it. there's a whole sew along for this dress. Yeah. So I used that quite a bit. That was yeah. There's normal. loads of loads of help for it, and like I think it's a really wearable. I mean, obviously, like this is a bit ridiculous. <laughs> But you know, this is I'm gonna to go to a wedding, so yeah. not not just gonna wear the good wear it to Tesco. You could totally There's no yeah. rules saying no you cannot rules. wear a glittery totally dress to, to, to Tesco. Tesco. Yeah. yeah. I just doing my shopping. Yeah. In my fancy Sometimes you wanna feel glam. Yeah. Yeah. Hoovering. Yeah. 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 So, so yeah, that's what what we're going to do from now on. Yeah. Just but, make a yeah. hundred more and make a hundred more, just have like a ball gown for every day of the week why not exactly um, yeah. so that's me I'm going to stop talking now and uh, Louise go to Louise in her tropical wonder wonder dress um, I think with this is the fabric really makes it um, I'm really glad the fabric quality is so nice yeah it's um, so lovely it's and an the colours are just Ale- yeah it's amazing. an Alexandra Henry fabric I got it from Fabrics Galore but it's just it's boom it's what I wanted <laughs> yeah. um, I've done pretty much the same as Lisa um, in terms of I did that I copied her Ogden Kami uh, <laughs> uh, tie um, but it's so tie, good but it looks really cute and because um, we were sewing together and I still went not decide and she was just just do what I did <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it and I'm so glad I did um, uh, I one issue I had was is the skirt piece is huge the front 
front skirt piece mm-hmm. for uh, version A. Yeah, it's like it's a massive it's skirt. A massive oh, piece. we need to do that. We, should, we gathered it over dental floss. But oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, you tell. Uh, I'll you tell, tell that the bit. story. You tell the dental st- uh, <laughs> floss story. Then. Uh, we have a wild <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> wild Saturday night sewing. Um, they yeah. So the pattern piece is really big, and because of the direction of this pattern, um, as much as it. Um, I, so I had to make the front piece smaller but because of the amount of gathers it actually made no difference it just made it slightly less gathered yeah um, it's still, like, I cut it out as wide as I could but it yeah. still wasn't nowhere near as wide as it the is actual a pattern piece it was big, yeah. big piece because it's mm. cut in the fold and it's already mm. big so um, but it just wouldn't work with the direction of the pattern so that's the only real change I did I didn't put pockets in because I was worried after I'd made the piece smaller that it wasn't going to line up but it turns out I could have put the um, pockets in to do the gathers Lisa taught me the trick which is um, you put the dental floss you put, put the don- <laughs> uh, dental floss on um, and then you do a zigzag stitch over the top because yeah. I did normal gathering stitch and then I hulked it and I broke all this, the, the um, threads so yeah, then, especially on like a thicker material like this or this not a thicker a, but like a, a medium yeah, weight yeah. Yeah. Right, because to begin with I was like oh you'd be grand with that but and the then, amount of gathers yeah. it just broke the threads yeah. so yeah. um we did the dental floss and it worked so well. Like you could probably so use a piece of cord. Like, yeah, as well. or like that a thicker, just thing. thicker thread. But yeah, so I, I used um, sort of, I'm not even sure if it was top stitch thread or, you know, you've got like the thicker, yeah. you know, just Gutterman thread. Yeah. Um, and I did it by hand, actually. Just oh, okay. um, just a quick sort of every centimetre wow. in, out, in, out. It was really quick. I, I didn't do it. I just sort of rushed it, so it was just more like, and yeah, but it's definitely fine. a thicker thread, just especially for the amount of gathers. It's, it's, on it's still yeah. a lot. It's still a lot. It's a lot of yeah. a lot of gathers, yeah. and um, but that worked really well. Mm. Um, I did invisible zip. Um, I did the normal facing. I didn't. Oh line. yeah, you did. Oh yeah, you did an invisible. Well, I didn't even read it, the instructions yeah. when it came to the zip. I just assumed it was an invisible zip, so I did an invisible zip. Oh. This happens to me quite a few times <laughs> because I just like you read the instructions and you're like, okay, and then you know, like, you know what you're used to, so you're like, oh yeah, that should be an invisible zip. So I did an invisible zip, but it suits me better. Um, and I didn't want to do a lap zip, so I'm happy. Uh, I watched Lisa do it. I know what it involves. I'll stick with the invisible. Um, uh, what else did I do? Oh, there's one difference I need to make to the bodice. So I did do a twirl, but I didn't put the zip in the twirl. I just pinned it. Um, and now that I've got this on, I need to just unpick um, under the arms and just take the seam allowance in a little bit because I, I think from previous experience, I I sewed at a one centimetre seam allowance because I was worried about the fit. Um, but it turns out I really should have done 1.5 so I'm going to do that under the arm just to take it in a little bit because it's a little bit gapy um, yeah. but that here. is an easy fix yeah, yeah. And it's, and it's only a little a wee bit in the back thing. but it's only a wee bit and I'll know that for next time because yeah it's just lovely so I'm very very happy yeah and I've got myself another lovely pattern pals make yay yes. and okay. now we're going to go to Barbara because she's got loads to tell you <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm all done. It's it's just did everything as you should and it's all fine. Yeah. 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 No. Unfortunately. <laughs> I am pinned in, as you can see. But it's um, dance the wall. No, so I am extremely happy with this dress. I have just made a lot of alterations, which I'm going to tell you about. And I didn't finish on time. So, yeah. It happens. Well, I mean, I didn't finish on time either. I hadn't got uh, him. Yeah. I was going to say. I mean, it was I bound to happen. happen I was me. good and I finished on time. But yeah. That's different. I'm joking. I'm taking this. Um, uh. No, it was bound to happen because I'm not good with um, starting on time. And it was too late yesterday evening and I really needed to go to bed. And uh, yeah. Sleep is good. Yeah. Is sometimes good. I. So I. I, and you can I choose to sleep and I am still going to finish this, this dress. And we'll show you another time. But let's, I am just wanted, I've made notes. So I want to take you sort of back to the beginning because I've changed so much that I, I always write it down. If you're interested, I've got the um, project planner from So DIY, So DIY blog. So do you I think she's so. And I'll pop it in the description yes, box. Yes. Because it's, 
it's really good. I like to do this sort of stuff and then I still need to put like, I glued like a piece of fabric in, didn't work. So I need, still need to add a piece of fabric and I like to make notes and then, I don't know. It's easy to look back to, to sort of go if back. you want to start it again. Because I am someone that often sews the same thing over again. So that's why I make notes. Um, so I've had this sort of clear vision of what I wanted. It's sort of a mix. I've seen sort of inspirations from the Jessica dress from Mimi G, the Q dress that we talked about. I just wanted to sort of mix those, take all the good bits and then sort of mash them together. So I started by making the neckline and the back straight. So the back, the original dips in a little yeah. bit. So I took it sort of um you just sort of stick yes but also sort of take took it straight and yeah. just above my bra so i sort of so i made it twelve, obviously you kind of have to yeah you with this like one this. yeah well, i think we all did that so i made it twelve and then used sort of was wearing my bra and then sort of saw where i'm just gonna apologize because i'm not laughing at you just in case any is it bb bb was just gonna try and eat the microphone so that, <laughs> that's why I didn't if you don't hear me yeah <laughs> She's going now, but I just... Maybe they're little, like, yeah. tiny, like, tiny little... Uh, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, baby. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was going to say, because that looks You're really bad. I'm not, yeah, I'm not laughing at you. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm fine. We're all good. Um, but yeah, so made it twelve, and then just made it uh, above my bra, and then same here. I just wanted to sort of cover, because you've got the strap, and then as soon as it goes out, I just... That was sort of my cut-off point, and then made it straight from there. Um... Of most obvious one opened the or sort of moved the opening to the front instead of to the back so I cut my back piece on the fold also took a centimeter out of that center back Let's piece see. by the way and um, added two centimeters here to the front of both pieces to for that overlap and small bust adjustment so at least i helped me fitting the small bust adjustment so i made the size 12 because i needed that for my waist but the bust was massive on me i was like what's going on so i ran to lisa not literally That's ran but do. like pretty much like can you help me pin this and in? i was like no get out of my flat <laughs> <laughs> no she was actually ready with her pins <laughs> Um, she put like a million pins in my bust. <laughs> Not in my bust. <laughs> in the dress of the bust. Yeah. The, the bust of the dress. That Whatever. one. Yeah. What she's saying. <laughs> and then went home, did a small bust adjustment. It ended up being a three centimeter bust adjustment. So I took three centimeters out of sort of across. And then one and a half centimeter seam allow of seam of the princess seam. So yeah. Oh. quite a bit out and then the waist i just left as it was because that was that was fine that yeah. was fine um i'm still not completely like there is room for improvement i'm happy as it is now with this dress for the next one i still have like a tiny a few pleats here so this piece is still about a centimeter too long and i thought i would fix it by like be super cool and ease it in and it worked. There is like in the seam, there are no actual pleats, but you, the, yeah. you can see like a little bit of gathering. So this bit is a little bit too long. Um, and yeah, I might move it over slightly, but those are like details. You can see now it's still, it's, it's a bit pulley because um, it's, pinned. it's pinned in. I was doing the buttonholes late last night. After I ran out of thread, in case you're wondering why it's like that light color because I stitched everything else with the right color and then I was practicing my buttonhole with this light color like it's a cream color I think like off-white cream and um, doing my practice buttonholes and I was thinking ah oh, kind of looks nice so this is like too obvious it but when you nice see it with so I've attached one button um, it kind of it looks cute. I kind of like, like it. it when it's sort of like peeking out at the top and the front. Oh, so I could also take that. Like I might just move that button slightly over because it's a tiny little bit gapy here. I might just do that. Anyway, like tiny things. 
Um, so I ran out of thread. You know, you can imagine how that went along, like yesterday at, you know, one in the morning, um, which makes it today. Um, and then I just did a few buttonholes and then tried it on and I thought, you know, I, I'm not sure how this is going to work. I thought it was going to be too small and it was too late, so I stopped. And I showed the girls and they are actually, you know, super positive and saying like, you know, it's a, it looks a bit gaping now because it's pinned and we can also, or I can use the old trick that Lisa did on her, you both did on your yeah. cute dress, yeah. um, put poppers or press studs or whatever you call it, sort of in between, um, sort of un invisible and that will just sort of fix that problem. So I thought yesterday like, oh, I made it way too small, but I can... If I want to, I can let it out a little bit here, but I might just get away with... I think you might get, I think we'll get away with... Now. Yeah, I put the I buttons so. on before put you do yeah. anything and then yeah. see. Because then yeah. otherwise you'd be just taking it apart for no reason and that'd be daft. So. Yes. Yeah, definitely. So I'll finish the buttonholes. Like, I didn't do any buttonholes on the skirt piece yet, so I need to finish that as well. I'll stitch on the buttons and then see how it um, sort of goes. Um... I've lengthened the bodice um, with one and a half centimeters in the waist and another two centimeters at the top. So it was a bit weird. I was, I thought at first that the twelve looked alright, and then I tried it on again. And I was like, no, my bra is visible if I would stitch on one and a half centimeters. So there was a little bit of lengthening going on, and um, the full bodice. Sorry for if this is like super long. No, it's okay. Um, if you're still here, good for you. Yay! <laughs> Um, I fully lined the bodice, so this is all in the same fabric, and after I cut that out, so I had two meters of fabric, about 115 wide, after I cut that one out, I used my leftover fabric, folded it double, cut it, and then I used one for the front of the skirt and the other piece for the back of the skirt. So it's actually the full width of my 115 centimeter wide fabric mm -hmm. that is on the back and the front has got the button button placket in but yeah does that sort of make sense yeah, so i did not i did not use the pattern at all for the skirt um it's basically just what i had left of the fabric um and i just wanted to use everything that i had of the fabric i thought you know i might initially i wanted to have less gathers but then i thought why cut a strip of fabric off and have that left over yeah, you know in silly. zero in and mindful sort of zero waste yeah. i thought i'd just put everything in the dress and um yeah that's about it i think yeah <laughs> so and i just the length is just basically based on oh somebody's very like yeah we should have put our final no, side i don't even know who it is probably me maybe um <laughs> But yeah, so the length, I didn't really decide on the length, it, I just used um, what was left of my fabric and I, it's under the knee which is quite nice and then I did my sort of signature um, bias binding, finishing on the hem. I just love the look of that. It's very pretty. And, it's very pretty. and even with the black it just sort of catches with me. Yeah. It's cute. Like, You'll have like black buttons and that. I don't know. I like the details. Okay. <sighs> that was it. <laughs> That's cool. Well, what's this? So I like I'm not there yet, but I'm already happy with this dress. It's gorgeous. I think I will get a lot of wear out of this. Definitely. After it's like without pins. Without pins, yeah. Yeah. But even with pins, you can. <laughs> I, you think I can pull it off? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you in could, Tesco, just yeah. you know, make sure Tesco. you give lots. Why are we gonna just like test us? all our dresses in Tesco? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Tesco's where it's at. Yeah. yeah. That was it's not in Margaret. You know. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it all happens. Yeah, it all happens here. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think, yeah, about it I think we've, all, yeah, we've all ended up with really lovely dresses. They all look very different. Yeah. But it's pretty awesome. But um, one thing we want to say is um, a big thank you to all our new subscribers. Because yeah, we've, we've hit over 2,500, which is pretty cool. incredible. And we're very, very happy. And um, thank you for all of your likes and subscribes and just interaction with us because it really means a lot to us and if you haven't liked and subscribed and all the other things please do um because we love it because we do love it <laughs> it actually brings us a lot of joy um and uh yeah we just want to say a big thank you yeah <laughs> um and also don't forget to check out our instagram because yeah. you will get the finished picture of barbara in yes. her lovely dress as soon as it's um, um yeah yeah and we'll share a finished picture of 
Lisa yeah. in her lovely dress, and it will also be on our own Instagrams as well. Yeah. 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 Good idea. So, yeah. Everything. That's everything. Okay. Well, see, we'll you see you next time. time. Bye. Bye.